Akaba 2004, a multi-billion dollar program aimed at developing the recreational housing and commercial sectors of Jordan's sole seaport has stalled. Poorly coordinated transportation operations result in continued chaos at terminal gates and in the city center. Even on a good day, poor information flows mean hours on end of waiting instead of moving goods. On bad days, it's worse. Accidents, sometimes spectacular, are common. There was a chaotic, congested mess. Really, this was a problem that had been building over literally 50 years. The uh, trucks had gotten into the habit of waiting everywhere in Aqaba, and it was seen as just a hopeless situation that was not soluble. Jordan's Ministry of Transport and the regional government decide to act with a bold, innovative approach not to simply fix the system, but to transform it with technology in place of more physical infrastructure. They turn to an American company, Intellix. Intellix, whose data analytics and modeling of complex transactions power critical systems for several U.S. government agencies. CEO Rob Cortell had just returned from a trade mission to Jordan and was certain the time was ripe for a new approach. I came back really convinced that we could do something significant. Uh, a couple of reasons. One was the political environment was uh, open, uh, they were willing, they knew they had a problem. Two was the problem itself. It was something that we could discern and define. The third part was just from a pure technology standpoint. Uh, as a company, we built our reputation on the knowledge of how logistic processes operate and the translation of that into technology that can manage those processes. A concerted and cooperative effort results in an intelligent transportation system. Here's how it works. The truck dispatcher requests the permits. The system validates the data through real-time connections to applicable databases. Trucks receive permits when capacity is cleared. Capacity algorithms control truck movements through waiting areas and to their eventual destinations. A complex process that had to be accessible to a user group not known for being early technology adopters. We realized that right away that the trucks the trucking companies and the truck drivers that we will be working with, they are not software savvy people. They have to be given instructions that they can easily absorb and then essentially take the system from there. We knew it would work, but we did not realize how quickly we would see the difference. The traffic congestion eased immensely. The tourists could not see the trucks anymore. Fully operational less than three months after launch, the results are dramatic. Inland transportation costs drop 20%, and the same number of trucks are able to move 25% more cargo. Perhaps more importantly, the quality of life in and around the port increases dramatically. Pollution, traffic congestion are concerns no more. And this proud and beautiful city begins its rebirth. The industry takes notice. Intellix wins the top ITSA award for innovation, the industry's most coveted honor for innovation and technology. Jordan was, was essentially landlocked um, because of congestion. I think that the Intellix project in Jordan really does demonstrate how tech, transportation technology helps communities solve problems. A few innovative ports and road systems have made similar advances, but the real change is expected as new innovative thinkers move into decision-making roles. The reality of any kind of public industry is that you actually get judged by what you build. We were very fortunate in Aqaba that we had a public official who was both far-sighted and recognized that technology could help him. So I think he's illustrative of a new type of public official that's starting to look at these situations. 